Try me. Moa was a sound. Wanted to contend with me. That's why, of all the girls in this community, I chose you as a friend. My friend. <laughs> oh, no, mother. <laughs> Has she crossed the city before? For where? Has she crossed this video? For where? Has she been to the city? For where? She wants to contend with us. Because I know. you came in, you took over. I'm not yes. <laughs>
My father's compound. Why won't you leave my sister alone? Ask me. Is she the only fine girl in this village? Oh. Or Guinea? What? Leave her alone. Huh? Why not leave her alone till she give us back our money? Huh? What money are you talking about? Your sister must give us back our money. She must. She thinks she can have smart us in this village. Never. I don't understand this nonsense, oh, because you still haven't said anything. Nothing. If you must know, your sister. She has been playing prank with us. Hmm. I've been asking her somehow out for the past three months. Clearly. She refused. Clearly. She said, we demanded that I must give her which amount of money before she, she would uh, accept. Of which I have to work endlessly, day in, day out in the front, just to raise the money and give to her. <laughs> After giving her the money, she ran. Ever since I've not been seeing her. She did the same thing to me since last two months. And she was even demanding for another money. <laughs> but we have concluded that enough is enough. I am no longer interested in that relationship. You see that money, she must bring it out. She must give me my money today, or else. Or else what? Or else what? Yes. What is wrong with you? Don't you have sense? Are you not ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Look at you. You think I do not recognize your voice? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Especially you, Chema. You should be ashamed of yourself in particular. Look at you. Your mother has been sick for the past six months. Lying ill at the hospital. Instead of you to save up money to save your sick mother. No, you will not. You keep lavishing your money on girls. Girls who do not want you. Are you not so shameless? Now you are here to touch my sister. In Apuala. Come and touch her now. Come and touch her. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Are you mad? Akuki Ibo. This is all you have to say, Akunne. Protecting your twin sister all the time. Okotoki Wali Og. Okotoki Wali Og, yes. If I do not protect my twin sister, who else should I protect? Should I protect you? Animal, should I? Now listen, if you do not take your miserable selves and leave this compound right what? now, I will show you what fire does with the ear of the rats. Mm -hmm. Now get out. He said we should get out. Get oh. out. Get out of this compound. Oh. You Where fool. Tomorrow? Will you get out? Wait tomorrow. What will happen tomorrow? I'm asking you. What will happen tomorrow? You want to do? Oh, you think she's an anti like me? You want to fight her? Immigrants of hellfire. Mwanu, come and do! Come and do! Idiot! What? What is it? Stupid boys! God punish you and your parents! You want to come and come and do!
baby. Stop. Hey. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm fine. I've come to tell it right to your face to please stop worrying my life. Please. I... I don't understand. Asama, what is it that you don't understand? Tell me, what is it? What is it that you do not understand? My brother here says you should stop worrying him. He does not want you. Look, I carefully followed him from the house down to this place to make sure he ends it today once and for all. Because I do not understand what my brother is doing with a woman like Asama in this village. Someone that is bent on stripping him of everything he has worked for all his life. A woman that goes about creating and attracting problems everywhere she goes to. A woman that lies. Asama, you lie. You lie every minute of your life that even if you are caught red-handed, you still lie. Someone that does not even have a single respect for his siblings. Handwork for where? Not even a single handwork in this life. The only thing you know how to do is Ntachasi, Ichoma. You can't support his dream. Can you support his dream? No. The only thing you know how to do is extort him. Asama, you extort him of every single money he makes. How can a woman that doesn't know anything about domestic chores want to marry my brother now? How? Asama, how? If this is your definition of beauty, then you lie. You lie. Which one will I even mention and which one will I leave? Asama, you travel to the city and spent just a few months. Because this thing, this thing in between your legs made them drive you back to this village. You think we do not know? You came back. Instead of you to go and hide, no, you came out. Be raising your shoulder, moving up and down and forming city girl for us. Or village slave queen. Now you want to marry my brother. You lie, yo. Let me tell you, every time I've been asking him, is it that you did not see someone like Akune here, your sister? To hang out with if it must be from this family. Look at her. Kai. Jehovah, I thank you. I thank this almighty God because today he has finally answered me. He said he has gotten everything he wanted from you and he's done with you. Now is the time to call it quit. Call it quit now, now, now that I'm here. Because you see that plan, that plan of yours to extort him of everything he has worked for and move on to another person. It has failed you. It has failed because my brother cannot marry you. Ne, my brother will not marry you. Leave him alone. Leave him alone for me. Um, what, what is, what is your sister talking about? Head her right. I've gotten what I wanted and I am done with you. And listen, let me tell you, I wouldn't want to see you anywhere close to me again. I've got a future to build, and certainly not with people like you. Yes. I have someone else. Wait, wait, wait! You, 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 you said you loved me. Our wedding is just a few weeks away. We, we, we're supposed to be getting married. I lied. I said that so I can be able to eat back all the money you have been extorting from me, all in the name of being smart. Bam. Jesus Christ. Look at me very well. I am not daft not to differentiate between a woman for temporary fun and a woman for keeps. You are not a woman for keeps, Asama. That one there is. So do yourself a favor to emulate her. My brother cannot marry you! Brother, let's go! Let's go! Who is she? Be let me. This is girl by school. I wonder who you are calling for. That's your death. Touch me. Don't come close to me. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Always a thing of comparison. Always the good girl. Since you formed the habit of, of diverting every man that comes my way to yourself. Akuna, you did it once. You did it twice. Uncountable times and it spread around the village and everybody followed suit. Oh, Asama is the girl that every man should just sleep with and run away. I hope you are happy. What is wrong with you, Asa? Why would you always blame me for things that are not my fault? Whose fault is it? I ask you, Akuna. Whose fault? 
I couldn't buy it. Asa, you have to calm down. Oh, you really no. have to. You are hot already. It is no news that our family had maintained a good name right from the days of our fathers. The girls lived exemplary lives that they attracted good suitors for themselves. That is why everybody wanted to marry from our family. How is it my fault that you grew up and decided to follow this terrible path? Irrespective of how our late parents tried to, to teach you the way of life. Now you're blaming me and you want it to be my own fault. And now you try to blame me. You took every man that came my way. You took my first love. And the rest of them. I never took any man that came your way, Asama. What is wrong with you? All I did was to, to make them understand that I'm not a rude person and then chase them away. Let me tell you this. You will not get away with this. Huh. I will make sure you pay for every pain I'm going through right now. And I... Why is she always blaming me? Why? Asa! Asa, often times I have sat down and watched you ever since my only son and his beautiful wife, your parents, died in that ghastly motor accident. I have watched you from a far distance. And I have watched you from close range. I see your worry. Looking for answers that are there, but you just cannot see them. Ah. You, you often wonder why your relationship with men never lasts irrespective of your beauty. I understand how you feel. And I think I have answers to your thoughts. My daughter, I am your grandmother and I can never lie to you. I have been on this earth many, many years, so I know what I'm talking about. True beauty lies in the heart. What is the color of your heart? True beauty is hidden within. You might be beautiful. But the physical beauty never lasts. If people like you because of your physical beauty, when it fades, they will leave you and run. But the inner beauty never fails. It never changes. It never lies. Except you decide to change. You have to change. Your physical beauty cannot get you anything. Everybody knows you as Obatosu. Once you enter a place, it's filled with trouble. You deceive people. You lie. You cheat. Nobody wants to have anything to do with such a woman. Very soon, your physical beauty will disappear. Then what do you do? Change your ways. 
Stop blaming your twin sister or any other person around you. What I can when I fair. I'm like I'm mad. You have to change for tomorrow. What can you change that Desist from your evil ways. Else, you will not last. It is only your true friend that will tell you that your mouth smells. I will tell you the truth. As your grandmother, change so that you will last. Change so you will find love. Change so you will be happy. Of me, what is wrong with you? Anybody that sees you dragging me like like this might think you're about to do something immoral. Calm down. You know here that if you want to make a request from a woman, first of all you check and know what she loves and admires the most. Uh. Eh? See, when you check and, and know what she wants, you get that stuff. When you get it, then you know whether she's a shy person or someone that loves secret. If she is, then you take her to a very secret place. Then after that, wait, look at me. Then you look into her eyes and give her the stuff. Trust me, trust me. You will get a very honest answer. Trust me. Mm? Odili, mm. you and your philosophy. You think I don't know that you made this up yourself? You never got it from anywhere. You think I do not know? Come on, okay, yes. I, I made it up myself. All those great men that is creating their own quotes, they don't have two heads, do they? I have heard you, Odili. What exactly do you want? I, I don't like standing here. I don't like it. First, first of all, I brought you this flower. You got me flower? Yeah, I know you love flowers, especially colorful ones. This is for you. Thank you. So, can I go now? Ako, from the innermost sanctuary of my heart, I want you to be my girlfriend. Odili? Yes. Huh. What are you saying? Have you suddenly forgotten that you're dating my twin sister and you want me to be your girlfriend? You know it's not possible. Don't say that. Don't say that. Aku, forget about your sister. She's already an old story. It's you I want now. I want you. Please. Huh. Well, I'm sorry you cannot have me. You cannot. Please. I bet you take my leave. Besides, get up. Get up. Aku. Get up, I said. Please, I have to go. Aku. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We are not fighting. I do not now. like Cal this. Calm down. Huh? Okay, at least say thank you for the flowers. Hmm? If that makes you happy, Odili, thank you. Are you fine now? No, no, okay. Just give me a hug. A no, hug? Just a hug, please. Why would I do a thing like that? It's, it's no more hug. No, have you forgotten we used to hug? We used to hug uh -huh. each other now. Nothing was attached to the hug I gave you previously, but this one I do not want to give. That's a friendly hmm. hug. Come on. It's okay now. It's okay. Oh, Dilly. Ah, cool. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Come here. Ah, cool. Oh, Jesus. Ah, cool. What are you doing in the bush with my boyfriend? Eh? Eh? What did I hear you say? See, Asa or Osa, I am not your boyfriend. We've broken up a long time ago. Leave me alone. I don't want you. Eh? All, all I want is your sister. Can't you see she? She has everything that a man wants. She has all the qualities. Odile! What is wrong with you? Take your flower. Nah. Stay away from me. Stay away. Akko!
marry me. Hmm? What are you saying? Are you not supposed to be my sister's... Um... Yes. That was before. Ha! Huh. Look into my eyes. And tell me the truth. If I were to be your brother, would you advise me to marry someone like your sister? Hmm. Be honest about that. Honestly, this is so unbelievable. If this is actually why you called me out here, I mean, if this is the important thing you said you wanted to discuss with me, then I'm not interested, Biko. Wait, wait, wait. There is nothing more that could be more important than this. No one sees a bush and sees a road and yet follows the bush. And no one in his right senses would see fire and intentionally put his leg inside the fire. I recently realized that I made the wrong choice of woman when I came to your family. Hmm. See, my dear, let me tell you something. I am one of those men that believe that a man with all his wealth is not yet complete without a good woman by his side to call his wife. <laughs> I have studied you from far and near. And realize that you are the right woman for me. Hmm. I am ready to settle down with you. Please marry me. And I promise you that I will make you a fulfilled woman. Hmm. Hmm. Listen, please. I do not want to sound rude. But if this is why you called me out here, Biko, I beg to take my leave now. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Me. What are you saying? How horrible can you be? You're supposed to be my sister's man. Are you even asking me out? What do you expect me to tell you? My twin sister for that matter. Please, I... I uh, Uncle, it's okay. Hmm? Oh, wait, I have to show you something. I have a surprise for you. What is that? It's a surprise. So you close your eyes. Why? Close your eyes. No. Close your eyes. I said no. I don't like what you're seeing. No. It's a surprise from me to you. Close your eyes. Huh. Close your eyes. Jeff! Oh! No, 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 no. Aku, it's not. Have you seen? Have you seen what you've got? Aku, it's because of you he has been avoiding me. What you think? This man is my fiance. Have you seen what you have cost? You're, you're sorry for what? Come and tell my sister. Come and tell her. I've not done anything wrong. Trust me. I, I was, I, he said he wanted to tell me something. But, so when I got there, he, he said he wanted me to marry him. I said no, that I would not marry him. You now listen with your lips and not with your ears. He asked me to He was show. almost kissing you, Ako. I didn't know the kiss was coming. He asked what did I do to you? What, what wrong have I done to you? My sister, I cannot hurt you. I couldn't have done a thing like that. Come. Come, come, come. I'm not punishing you for what you have just done. Listen, sister of mine, I can't. Just I'm not. I'm just telling you the truth. God knows the truth. I swear to you. I swear to you. I did nothing wrong. I swear. I'm sorry. I, he called me out here and he was telling me something. I didn't know. I didn't know. I have no idea. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Please. Not again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Someone name. I see you are still hurt. I see you visit ugly old memories. 
I can feel it right here in my heart. But I want you to know that I am deeply sorry. I need you to forgive me if you think I have done anything wrong to you. I am sorry. Because what we share, no one does with us. Not anywhere in the world. Not today. Not any time in the future. The bond we have between us is too strong for a third party to break. It can only be broken if we give consent to it. I, I miss our good old days, Ejimam. I miss the love we share. Believe me when I say that, whatever that is yours will surely locate you someday. And whatever that it is that has brought conflict between us will never come up again. If anything tries to rise up again, I will take a bullet for you, Ejiman. That is how much I love you. And I promise I will do anything to make you happy. Please. Listen. I am ready to sacrifice anything. Anything just to see you happy. I am deeply sorry. I need our old, our old memories back. I've missed everything. How we used to play when we go to school those days. How you used to cry and I'll bring you to myself and pamper you. How I cook for you and serve you at night. How we play together at night and during the day. I miss everything. I need our old memories back. Please. 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 Please, I'm sorry, Ejimam. I'm sorry. I do. I do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Dreaming. It's true. Oh my dreaming. god. What is an all time popular designer, Margaret, you're doing in Amokwe village? Okay, Why are you sounding like you can't see the handwriting on the wall? Clearly written. Okay. My dream man has located me. Same way I see him in my dreams. God. Good Jesus. You remember the dream I used to tell you when we were much younger? Yes, yes, I remember. Okay. It has come to pass. How, how we met along the beautiful path. He was, he was riding in his car. And, and later he, he asked me to marry him and, and we 
got married and, and when I said it, people thought I had malaria. They thought I was sick, but okay, this is it. 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 Okay. Yes. This is it. You were right. <gasps> oh, I, I remember. Okay, I need to confirm it. Asked for my number. <laughs> Gregor asked for my number. You see what I have always told you. To be patient, that whatever that is yours will locate you. Of course. Huh? Now tell me, Afama. Did you struggle to get this? No! Yeah? The patient dog. The fattest bone! Oh, no. The patient dog eats the fattest bone. I'm so. I'm so. Oh. Jehovah. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah El Shaddai. The beginning and the end. God of Asamba. You have created me. <laughs> created me to look this Amen. beautiful. Amen. Amen. Drink gold butter gel. Amen. Choco. He has given me this kind of man. Like with points and yours. Enough money. Good car. Perfect match, Jehovah Nassim. You have combined the two of us, Jesus. Amen. Father, if I don't marry this man, I will die. Father, I must marry this man. No, 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 sir. It has nothing to do with that step. Huh? That level. Okay. What do you mean that's what it's like? Look at you. It has even passed that level. It has passed it. I must marry this man. I'm going to get married to my friend. <laughs> Okay, Chico, we need to start making plans. We need to start, we need to start picking out things, writing out our list and, and what's going to be the color of the day? Um, blue and gold? Or white and white and red? What do you think? And of course you're going to be my two Wait for this to come true. He has come to ask for my hand in marriage. Exactly the same way he did in my dreams. Oh my god. Yes, he, he came in that same car. The black Lexus, the, the, the big one. That's exactly 
12.15 p.m. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, you were right. You were right. Everything you said about him is true. I mean, everything they said about him is true. Everything. Yes, yes. He, he just, he just drove him. You know what? I'm, I'm going to call you back. My wonder man is here. Indeed, he is full of surprises. I'll, I'll call you back, okay? All right. Good. You're full of surprises. You're welcome. No, 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 no. She's not the one. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about your sister? I couldn't. I couldn't. Come, come. Hey. Hey. Good afternoon. Uh, no, you called. Yes, I already drink good afternoon, so you know why I called. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine. Good, good. You're welcome. Um, Ne. Actually, I'm here to let you know that I intend coming next week with my kinsmen to solidify the marriage right between me and Akune. Yes, you. Let's say Saturday. Um, yeah. we're all here. Yeah, we'll be waiting for you, Okay. okay. I go to your bed now. Yes. You people are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 no, tell them. <laughs> no, sorry. Okay, no, no, eh? <laughs> welcome. So, go inside, go inside.
Agone. You have started keeping secrets just like your late father did. Ne. I am not hiding anything from you. Okay. Even if I must hide something from someone, mm -hmm. certainly not you, Ne. Are you sure? Yes. The first day that that young man came to visit, ah, you did not realize I was looking at you from the corner of my eyes. <laughs> eyes. <laughs> nee, you are very funny. Okay, let me tell you. <laughs> Greg and I have been seeing each other for quite some time now. Yes, we met on the path road on his way to Amachara, two villages away from here. And ever since then, things started happening. What kind of things were happening? <laughs> things like this, Nne. But I do not mean immoral things. We started seeing each other, started communicating. I really love him, Nne. I love him not because he's popular. But I love him because of the person I see when I look through his heart. I feel something strong for him. And I believe he feels the same. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, Ne, mm -hmm. getting married to him would be the greatest thing that would ever happen to me. I'm being honest with you. I'm being honest. Okay. Now you have reminded me of my own things. <laughs> the act of marriage actually takes place first of all in the heart, not in the church nor the hall. I am so happy that you are in love. You have been glorious. <laughs> but there's a story that I want to tell. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to listen? I'm ready. Okechiku, are you not going to say something reasonable to me because I'm losing it already? Okechiku, I'm losing it already. Asa, <laughs> I still suggest you have dialogue with your sister. It's possible they might have been dating before. No! That's not possible. Akune has never traveled out of this village for the first time in her whole life. To have met such a man. She... Wait a minute. She charmed him. Charmed? Akune charmed my man the same way she has she has always done in the past. She charmed him. I will let this happen. I will let this happen. I will never let this happen. Asa. Asama. <laughs> Akone is still your sister. Your twin sister at that. So, I still suggest that dialogue is the best way. See, I think at this point, you should swallow your pride. Both of you could work things out. Yes. You can. Please stop crying. Please leave him for me. I know you can't do this for me, my dear sister. Please. I find it very difficult doing this. Means everything to me. He is my life. I could, I could, everything. 
everything was playing out well. Everything was going as it was in my dreams. Before, before what? Masa, what are you saying? <laughs> you want me to leave my future for you? A man you have grown to love in the world of fantasy you created on your own. A man you had admired from distance. A man that hardly knows you. What? What are you saying, Eji, ma'am? How is that possible? It's, it's very possible. Aku, it's, it's possible. And I, and I know you would do it for me. Aku, Aku, this man was meant for me. He was meant for me, otherwise it wouldn't be occurring the same way it has been in my dreams. You've always professed how much you loved me. And can make sacrifices for me. Ako, you said you would do anything to make me happy. You said... You said the bond between us cannot be broken. A third person. Ako, this is the time. It's the time for you to prove it. Please, I beg you, just do it for me. And I'll be forever grateful. I promise I will forgive you for every wrong you have done to me. Please. Ako, listen. You can, you can find someone else. You know you can find someone else. You, you, you're very lucky when it comes to attracting good men to you. Please, you just have to help me get him back. I need to get him back. You have to help me win him. That man means a lot to me. He, he's my life. Ako, if I don't marry him, I will die. Asa, please. I do go extra miles to please you. I go extra miles to do something for you. The bond between us is too strong. And no one can ever break it. Thank you. If this man in question can stand between us and choose you as his wife, I will bear no grudges. Thank you. Thank you. But then again, I doubt. I doubt if anyone possesses the power to come between Greg and I. Not human. Not spirits. Asa, I love this man with my life. I love him with everything in me. He is all I have got. Please. As it stands now, I don't think I'm ready to let go. Sorry.
desperation, envy, hatred, intolerance, all the negativities of life is something you do not bring to the table where twins are concerned. The bond between twins is incomparable. Twins are not meant to hurt each other. When you hurt your twin, you pay dearly for it. You see, my daughter, when a seed is planted in a favorable place, it germinates and grows to become a big tree with branches. Do not let your hatred become that small seed that grew to become a big tree with branches. Do away with hatred, envy, anything bad that would cause harm to your twin sister. Mom, listen to me. Try to be good and loving to your sister. Try to find peace. Whatever you feel she has done to you, forgive her and move on. That is the only way you can make it. If you continue in your negative ways, what I see, what I see is disastrous. We're walking away. So I was thinking maybe when I get to the city, I'll send for you. Or better still, I'll come and pick you myself. Mbao! Hey! Akazukwana! I do not want to go to the city. I want to stay back here. Look around. See nature. When you are close to nature, you have longevity. You live to be old. 
and you will not get sick. Eh? Ha! Ah, besides, by the time your sister gets married and lives here, who will take care of your father's house? Mm -hmm. Talking about I that. I don't want to go to the city. Yes, talking about our father's compound, mother. My husband and I have decided to demolish this house and build a defeating house for you. Mm -hmm. And I will give you a proposal. Hey! Please. Hamba! Hey, Jaquanadia! You see this house? I like it the way it is. A good to run one corner, it is no more the same. Because, don't talk about that. Eh? Eh? Oh, 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 am I not saying the truth? I know, Mama, but. Hamba! No, but, because, name, no, but. Let us uh, talk about more important issues. You know, very soon both of you will be going back to the city as a married couple. And there are certain things, mom, you need to know that will help your marriage. If you go, when this young man, your husband, comes and wants to with you, hmm? My daughter, do not say no. It is his right. He has paid for it. So, don't be shy. These are the realities of life. So you allow him to, you know? Yeah. And then when you people quarrel, whether it is your fault or his fault, if a look, you say, you young boy, I look. Eh? I want to apologize once again, my dear sister. But I'm human. I need you to understand that there are traces of jealousy that exist in every human. I mean, we feel bad when, when we want something so desperately and all of a sudden we see that same thing slipping before our very eyes. Please, I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. As a matter of fact, I should be the one apologizing to you. Please, forgive me if I have wronged you in any way. I'm deeply sorry. You are my better half. You are my blood sister. My twin. We are inseparable. Together we stand as one. I love you so much. And I love you too. I'm happy. <laughs> and I also wish to let you know that I will be relocating to the city soon. At least to find something good for myself. Wow, that would be very nice. You know I have not been to the city before. If not, I would have said you should come along with me now. But then, anytime you find yourself in the city, do well to come to the house. You're welcome any time, any day.
that a real man loves his wife and puts his family first in life. You have brought joy to me and I will love you for the rest of my life. <laughs> my beautiful wife. I love you too, my world. I'm so, so lucky to have found you. No. We are lucky to found each other. You made my world. <laughs> you brought so much joy and happiness to me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I love you. No, I always love you. I love you too. Huh? <laughs> you brought joy to me. <laughs> you brought joy and happiness to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You allowed that on your face? I did. See, your face is so beautiful now. Mm -hmm. Okay, just tell me, what, what are you using? I've learned how to do makeup. You taught me. Ah, I... <laughs> you taught me. But your own is more beautiful Thank now. You. Where did you get your lashes face. from? It's so nice. Oh, your Morris. Wow. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. Uh, oh my god. Okay. So, good. I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. I hope it was not difficult for you to look in here. Come on. This is not the first time I've come in here, you know. This is Asama, oh. my sister. Yeah. As a matter of fact, my twin sister. Oh, wow. the one I've always told you about. Oh, really? It's Louisa, my best friend. She's more like a family to us. She works with the delivery agency. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. oh nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. <laughs> oh, 
my god, you're so beautiful. Oh, oh my god, I guess you guys have this whole big tent in your. Boy, come on, come here, uh, Auntie. She's here. Big boy, <laughs> come and greet Auntie. Come. Hi. Ah, ah, look on. Ah, ah. When I say hi, hey, oh, hi, city boy, Otto, hey. <laughs> <laughs> big boy now. <laughs> Don't mind him. You're welcome, my darling Thank sister. You. I'm really happy that you're here. I know. Uh, okay, fine. Let me take you to your room. Okay, welcome. I'm coming. Thank you. Oh, well, hey, good boy. Hey, 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 it's my blood system you're talking about here. But baby, I know, I know, I know it. But I thought we've talked about it over and over again. Eh? I do, I'm not just comfortable with it. I do not like this idea of having a stranger coming to live with us. My blood sister? A stranger? Baby, baby, please do not misunderstand the choice of my word. Eh? I'm not just comfortable with it. I'm only trying to be careful. Careful about what, if I may ask? The person you're talking about is my twin sister and you're calling her a stranger. <sighs> okay, listen. Family matters could be very delicate at times. And if not handled with utmost care, it could be disastrous tomorrow. Okay, have you ever asked yourself why I've not allowed any of my person, even my relation, to live with us? I do not like it. Rather, I give them money to go somewhere else and take care of themselves. I don't want by tomorrow somebody wake up and want me to treat him or her the way I treat my wife. Or want you to treat them the way you treat me. It wouldn't be nice. I understand you, my love. I understand everything you have said. Trust me, I do. But then again, we are talking about my twin sister. I will never be comfortable knowing full well that my blood is out there, struggling, feeding from hand to mouth, not living in a comfortable accommodation while I am here enjoying. It's not nice. Okay, fine. I understand everything. Tell me, are you going to give her money to get an apartment for herself? Sweetheart, you know, for some time now, things are not Oh, really... come off it, honey. Come off it. I know you're trying to give excuses. Money is not the problem and you know that. Okay, fine. Why not allow her to come here and stay with us? Please, depending on the time you're ready to give her money to find the apartment. My love, please. I will not be comfortable knowing full well that my own blood sister is out there, not happy. She's my twin, my sister, my better half. She's everything I've got. I am begging you. I, I know that you're not, you're not happy with it, but please, for the love we share, do this for me. And I promise you that nothing will go wrong. Absolutely nothing, please. Please. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. She can go on and stay with us. You can help Tony B. Thank you. I know you will do it for me. Thank you. I'm so excited now. You know, you know, you know, you know sometimes. <laughs> Sienique, 
Ahmed has finally agreed that you're free to stay here with us pending on the time you're ready to leave. It's not. <laughs> okay, this is a lie. It's a lie. It's not. I'm telling you the truth. Though it was not easy to get him convinced, but I'm happy he agreed. So you relax and enjoy your stay. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe. Do you know what? Thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. I'll be going to see Nate tomorrow with Kamsi. Okay. Would you come with us? Ah, uh, I would love to, but you know I need to go job hunting. I just got here. I need to get something doing with myself. I wouldn't want to miss that for anything. Mm -hmm. I understand. But send but my regards to Nate. Of course! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just get the dinner ready okay. and I'll send for you. Alright, thank I you. Love it. Thank you so much. I'm so happy, trust me, I'm so happy. Yes, we're going to have a good time together. Yes. I'm coming. Okay, forgot to get me something that is because I am not important of not even part of this family Asa and of course her husband almost shut down the boutique for her and her son and here she comes with one dress for Asa yeah well, don't misunderstand this whole thing. What do you mean I shouldn't misunderstand the whole thing? Tell me, you went out to do all shopping and get yourself all the good things of course and then you act like, like I am part of this family yet you keep me in this godforsaken room that looks like a shit hole and a dead man's quarter and you stand here to tell me I shouldn't misunderstand anything. What is wrong with you? This is the guest room for crying out loud. Is anything wrong with this room? Does this room look like your room? I'm asking you, Akune, does it look like your room? Why in God's name would you even keep me in the guest room? I ask, why? What is going on? Please, uh -huh. take this thing. Go look for a pauper and give this coat of many colors to. Excuse me. 